What is up, bros and brouettes? I'm Ming Slasher, and over the past week or so, we've been talking about everything involving Call of Duty Black Ops 4. We've talked about the weapons, we've talked about specialist characters, perks. The one thing that we haven't talked about, and the one thing that I'm really excited to talk about, is what we're going to talk about today, and that is score streaks. So, all in all, throughout what we were able to play, we didn't get to play a ton of score streaks, but what I saw, first of all, I really liked, and I'm really optimistic for more score streaks that they may be adding into the game. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is the eight score streaks that we were able to use in the pre-alpha build that we played. Also talk about how many score streaks I think will be in total in the final game. And finally, talk about what they could do to improve or nerf or make all of these score streaks better. But first of all, let's start by talking about how many score streaks I think are going to be in the final game. So as I've told you before, I'm not allowed to show you the menu screens, but I can explain them to you. And basically, the menu screen that they gave us for score streaks, there's eight on there, and it's very clear that there is seven extra spots that score streaks could fit on the screen. It's really easy to see. So in total, I very strongly believe that by the time the game is fully released at the end of the day on October 12th, we will see 15 score streaks, which is pretty exciting because that means we've only really seen about half of them. That being said, by no means is this number confirmed, by no means does this mean I'm right. In fact, if we look at past Black Ops games, there's been more than 15 score streaks, so it's possible that it could be anywhere between 15 and 20, but like I said, we've only seen eight of them as of right now. So for the rest of the video, let's talk about these eight, whether they're good, whether they're bad, all of that kind of thing. So the first one, the most obvious one, the one that's been in every single Call of Duty game, we've got the UAV. So the one thing that's important to note about this is the UAV does reveal people when they are in the fog of war. Really, that's the only thing different about the UAV in this game. Now, to get the UAV, it costs 500 score, or if you're using the Comsec device, which is a perk that you can attach to your L1 ability, as we've talked about in previous videos, that I don't think a ton of people are going to use, but if you do use it, the UAV only costs 350 score. And by the way, I should get this out of the way before we talk about the Comsec anymore. I, the reason why I don't think many people are going to use the Comsec device is because there are better options like the stim shot which makes you heal faster or the ballistic vest which allows you to take more damage at the beginning of each life it's just those are much better than using the Comsec device that's why i don't think a ton of people are going to use it the next score streak, once again, another one that's common in Call of Duty is the Counter UAV. Once again, this one just scrambles your enemy's minimaps. This one is going to cost 600 score, or with the Comsec device, cost 450 score. Really nothing special to talk about with that one. This next one is once again a score streak that's been in the Black Ops series for a very long time. This one is the Hellstorm missile. As of right now, it costs 700 score or 600 with the Comsec device. This one's interesting to me because in Black Ops 3, the Hellstorm missile actually costs 800 score. So it's a little bit easier to earn in this game, which I was kind of surprised by. Next up, another very common one in Call of Duty, we have the Sentry Gun. Now, this one's a little bit interesting, first of all, because it looks a lot different than we've seen in previous Sentry Guns. Also, it costs 800 score, whereas in Black Ops 3 it cost 850 score, and once again with the Comsec device, it's going to drop down to 650 score. So I actually got killed by this once, it seems to lock onto target pretty quick, but it's not obnoxiously quick, it's not hard to avoid, so all in all I think it's going to be a decent score streak, but not overpowered by any means. The next one's an interesting one, once again a very common score streak, but the reason why I say it's an interesting one, because this attack helicopter only costs 900 score, or 750 score with this Comsec device, but if we look back to Black Ops 3, the Wraith, which was basically the attack helicopter of Black Ops 3, cost 1,100 score. So this one costs about 200 less, way easier to get. The difference is, is when I did see this get called in, I didn't find it overpowered. It maybe killed two or three people. So I'm wondering whether it's better to give it a little bit of a buff, make it cost 1,000 score, or leave it where it is and have it only get you two or three kills. I'm not really sure. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer more powerful streaks that cost more, or easier to get streaks that do a little bit less? Let me know what you think down in the comments. The next one is finally a new score streak for Black Ops, and that is the Mantis. Well, I should say it's a kind of new score streak. So this one is going to cost you 1,000 score and 825 if you were using the Comsec device. This is basically the Cerberus from Black Ops 3, but it looks different. Uh, the interesting thing is the Mantis was actually a thing back in Halo 4. I don't know if you guys played that game at all, but it was a thing. It kind of looked like this, but a little bit different. The one thing I will say about this is like the Cerberus in Black Ops 3, it moves rather slow. You have two weapons. You have a rocket you can shoot or a machine gun. Um, the machine gun is much weaker than the rockets. All in all, I think this one actually needs a little bit of a buff. The reason why I say that is because the Cerberus in Black Ops 3 was 900 score. 
The Mantis in Black Ops 4 is 1,000 score, and it moves just as slow. So I think if they're going to make it 1,000 score, they should make the thing a little bit faster. Um, and I think the guns are just as strong as they need to be. Just make it a little bit faster. That's all I can say from my experience. Next up, we have Strike Team. This one's really interesting. Basically, it's like a good version of Paratroopers or a shitty version of the GI unit from Black Ops 3. So this one costs 1,100 score or 900 with a ComSec device. And this one, when you throw them and drop the Strike Team down... They stay in one position. So say that you throw them on the B flag of domination, they stay there unless you tell them to move to another place. All you got to do is hold square on PlayStation and then they move to wherever you tell them to move. I do like that you can control them on top of that they are armored so they have more health than a normal soldier, but it's no GI unit. The GI unit from Black Ops 3, basically you could call that thing in and it was fast. It would chase people down, hunt them down, get you lots of kills, but it also costs 1600 score in Black Ops 3. So I think this is a pretty good middle ground. I think it's the right amount of score for the score streak. And I think that this one's going to be really interesting to see how good it is once it's in public matches. And then finally, the last score streak is Gunship. Now, this one costs 1,500 score, which for an AC-130-like score streak is actually pretty decent. And with the ComSec device, it's only 1,200 score. So that's really good. The problem is, is most of the maps that we played on have a lot of indoor areas. Like, a lot of indoor areas. Which means there's a lot of areas where the Gunship just simply can't kill people so i don't think it's the fact that the gunship is weak it's that the gunship is weak on a lot of these maps there's a couple ways you could make it a little bit better make the gunship fire faster or your second option is make it last longer but i don't really think that's a problem i think there's just a lot of indoor areas and that makes kind of like the ground-based score streaks like the mantis or sentry gun or strike team a little bit better and the air-based ones like attack helicopter and gunship a little bit worse that being said we only played three maps there may be many many more maps where the air score streaks are much much better so those are the eight score streaks we know for sure are in the game but there's a lot of other ones that we can assume will just be there because they're in pretty much every other call of duty game and also they showed it in the blackout trailer is an hcxd or a controllable car where you can go and blow someone up also on top of that a care package that's been in pretty much every single call of duty game since like modern warfare 2 after that possibly a dart drone i'm not sold on that but it's one that they've had pretty consistently in the last two black ops games after that, we got something along the lines of a Rolling Thunder or Bombing Run that's in most Call of Duty games, also a Hater or Advanced UAV once again in many Call of Duty games. What I would expect to be in there, but I'm not guaranteeing is, is something like the Raps or a Dog score streak, something that you call in and it's kind of like a swarm that comes in. Or maybe even the swarm from Black Ops 2 will be introduced into Black Ops 4. And then finally, the top tier score streak. Maybe it'll be a swarm. In Black Ops 3, it was a mothership. But you know, you know that they have not showed us the top tier score streak yet. That'll be something that comes in the beta or maybe even not till the full launch of the game so i'm looking forward to seeing what that will be as of right now i have no idea it could be a swarm it could be another type of mothership who knows what it's going to be but you know it's going to be pretty good one of the main changes with score streaks is actually how you call them in in this game you actually call them in with triangle which has never been done in a call of duty game i don't really know why it's been done in this game i would assume that they're making something attached to the d-pad that they wouldn't want score streaks involved with i have no idea what that is but as of right now, you call them in with triangle. The other big thing is, I have to say, score streaks are way easier to get in this game. Way easier. And there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, the score on most of them is a lot lower than it's been in previous game, which I think is a big thumbs up. I think that's a good thing. On top of that, there's also more ways to earn score in this game. For example, if you get an assist, it counts for 100 points just like a kill does. That means there's going to be many more points going around around the board. On top of that, capturing objectives, all of that kind of stuff if you're playing domination if you just step over the flag and then your team captures it boom you get another hundred points just like capturing a flag normally so there's a lot more ways of earning score which makes earning the score streaks that cost less than normal that much easier so i think that's a good thing i think a lot of people are going to be earning score streaks as far as people saying that the score streaks are the best we've ever seen i have to disagree with that i think they're decent i think they're kind of on par with black ops 3s i think black ops 2s may have been a little bit better but we have to wait and see what the rest of the score streaks are like at the release of the game and at that point we can really judge whether they're good or not as far as what i've seen
seen, I'm impressed. I think they did a pretty good job with the score streaks. The one thing I still would like to see is some sort of nuke like there has been in other COD games. That being said, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, there was no nuke. There was a nuclear metal, but no nuke itself. But I would still like to see that, but we'll have to wait and see what they do with that. But I, like I said, I think they're doing a pretty good job with the score streaks. Not the best ever, but good. And I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. So let me know what you think of all these score streaks down in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of the Black Ops 4 content. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are.